fixed assets and the historical cost principle. Fixed assets or physical assets. Physical means you can touch it. That's why fixed assets are sometimes called tangible assets. Fixed assets are non-current assets, which means that the company intends to use these assets for more than a year. Examples of fixed assets are land and buildings, vehicles and equipment. When we want to record fixed assets in the financial statements, the following principle is very important. Historical cost principle. General accepted accounting practice, GOP, requires that the asset be recorded at its original cost. Let's say the historical cost principle is a big tree, the cost price tree. We plant him here at the fixed asset accounts. Only leaves of this tree will fall on the fixed asset accounts. An entry that's not done at cost price may not be made in any one of these accounts. Let's use vehicles in the general ledger as an example. By now you know vehicles is a fixed asset account. It belongs in the balance sheet. Assets increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side. Start with the opening balance. You will get this amount in the trial balance of the previous financial year. What does the opening balance mean? That's the amount I'll get if I open the business door on the first day of the year and add the cost price of all the vehicles I see there. But that's not the value of the vehicles, you might ask. Why do I use the cost price and not the value that the vehicles are worth? Do you remember our cost price tree? Only cost price leaves may fall in this account. We must adhere to the historical cost principle. Only entries at cost price may be made in the fixed assets accounts. Suppose the business purchases another vehicle during the financial year. Then the business's assets increase. Assets increase on the debit side. We will show the entry on the debit side. The transaction can be a cash purchase or a credit transaction. At what amount is the transaction recorded? At cost price. Maybe the business decides to sell a vehicle during the financial year. Such a deal will cause the assets, the vehicles, to decrease. Assets decrease on the credit side. What will the contra account be? Asset disposal. The business sells or disposes of an asset. At what amount is this transaction recorded? Don't be tempted to enter the amount the business received for the transaction year. Neither should you enter the vehicle's value at the date of the sale. Remember the cost price tree, pick a leaf from the tree and use the cost price of this asset. So the original price at which this vehicle was purchased must be entered here. Let's balance the account to calculate the closing balance. What is the closing balance? On the last day of the financial year, you close the business. The original cost price of all the vehicles that are inside the business should be added together. This is the closing balance of the vehicles account. This will also be the opening balance of the new financial year. Lastly, there are two important things to keep in mind. First, sometimes there is transportation, installation or other cost involved in purchasing an asset. For example, some equipment must be installed or a vehicle must be equipped with a tracking system or GPS. The money paid for it must be added to the cost price of the asset. These costs therefore increase the asset's cost price. Secondly, the historical cost principle also applies to the land and buildings account. In exam papers, they will like to confuse you by mentioning the market value of the property purchased or sold.
However, stick to the principle, only use the cost price. If the business builds a storeroom, it is counted as additions in note 3. It should be added to the cost price. But repairs to buildings do not affect the cost price. If you read something about building repairs, it should be shown as an expense in the income statement. Your homework is to review and study the format of a fixed asset account. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand the historical cost principle better now.